what are we going to do today? Today we're going to do a tongue twister challenge. What's that about? A tongue twister challenge is where we speak some tricky phrases to improve our English speaking and sound clearer. That sounds fun! Exactly! Now we will invite some teachers or students to read a tongue twister. If the person makes it, he or she can promote to the next level. At the end, we will also invite Ms. Jokari to finish the challenge. She will offer us some tips on how to speak better English. Let's get started! We now have Isaac and Edwin from Class 2E. They will have one minute to prepare. One minute later, Betty bought her boss some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. It was better Betty bought her bought a bit of better butter. Betty bought her bought some butter, but she said the butter bitter. It was better Betty bought her bought a bit of butter. Better bought butter. If you must cross a cross cross cow across the cross crowded cow. Crossing, cross the cross cross cow across the cow the cow crossing heavily. If you must cross a uh, cross cross cow across a cow the cow crossing, cross the cross cross cow across the cow the cow crossing heavily. We now have Cozy, Shriga, and Ivan from Class Two E. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. It was better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. So okay, thank yeah, you. Sure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. It was Betty. Better Betty bought <laughs> butter bought a bit of better butter. Nice. Yeah. Yay. Better butter bought some butter, but she said the butter bitter. It was better. Betty butter bought a bit of butter, better bit butter. If you must cross a course cross cow across a crowded cow crossing, cross the cross course cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully. Aww. Thank you. If you must cross a course cross cow across a crowded cow crossing, cross the cross course cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully. Whoa. If you must call, cross a cross cross cow across a crowded cow crossing, cross the cross cross cow across the crowd crowd cow crossing carefully. Okay. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter is bitter. It was better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. If you must cross a course, cross co a cow across a crowded cow crossing, cross a cross course cow across a crowded cow crossing carefully. Wow, that's difficult. Bravo! Okay! Yay! Hello, I'm Mr. Home. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. It was better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. If you must cross a horse cross cow across a crowded cow crossing, cross the cross course cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully. Now we have Mr. M to finish the challenge. Hi, Mr. M. Hi. Betty Butter brought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. It was better Betty Butter bought a bit of butter butter. If you must cross a course, cross cow across a crowded cow crossing, cross the course, cross cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully. Hi, Mr. Carey. Now we will invite Mr. Carey to read the tongue twister with us. Sure, I'd love to. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. It was better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. If you must cross a course, cross cow across a crowded cow crossing cross the cross course cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully um do you have any advice for us to be a more fluent english speaker 
Uh, I always say to students that if you practice speaking English to a native speaker, for, for one thing, uh, if you speak English in your lessons, it will help you be a better speaker because you're just practicing. Uh, reading out loud is also uh, a really good idea because you're practicing the words, how to pronounce. Uh, I always tell students, of course, to, to watch all the movies, read books, and, but then you need to speak. You can't just read and listen. You have to actually speak. Tongue twisters are really good because they kind of mess with your mind. It's a mind, it's a brain, and uh, you know the whole your lips, your tongue, your mouth, your jaw. Uh, there's a lot of sounds and phonetics in tongue twisters, so it helps you to enunciate words if you start to read slowly, like. Betty Botter bought some butter, right? You will learn to enunciate better and then you can just speed it up. Betty Botter bought some butter and so on. So practicing tongue twisters is good. Reading aloud is good. Speaking with your friends, speaking with a native speaker uh, is also a, a really good idea. But a lot of students are reluctant to speak English. And then they always ask me, how can I improve my English? But uh, in order to be a fluent speaker, you have to speak the language. Okay, you have to use it as much as you can in order to uh, be better at it. champion. <laughs> uh, do you think you are the, the champion? The funniest teacher. I'm the champion. Yeah, accurate pronunciation. Mm. Mm. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hope you guys had fun watching and learned a lesson from this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell right here. And stay tuned for our next video. See you next time. Bye. Bye.